Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to make a quick video. It's a beautiful day out in the Valley of the Sun. It's about 100 something degrees right now. And I get this question probably, I would get, this is probably the most commonly asked question by a homeowner, right? When I'm out doing a preventive maintenance or a service call, whatever, they, a lot of people ask this, right? Because they know that their AC is getting up in age. They want to know when is the best time to buy, right? Everybody wants to know when's the cheapest time to buy. So, the pandemic, or COVID, whatever you want to call it, did change this up a little bit, okay? Uh, right now, I'm not, I'm talking, this is pre-COVID advice, and if COVID goes away, I think the advice will still be good. It's just because COVID is kind of disrupt disrupting the kind of chain of supply, right? So, right now, if you need to replace your AC and you think it's on its last leg, you better get on the schedule like right away because there's a big shortage, right? You guys have heard of the big shortage. There is a shortage right now. Not for everybody, but there is a shortage. So, this advice may hold true even though during COVID, but don't come at me if it doesn't, okay? It's, it's just COVID. This is, in most of the years that I've been in the trade, this has been true. Let's put it that way. So, pretty much the best time to buy is, in my almost decade of experience, right after the summer is over and we're headed into fall, okay? So, fall, summer, end of summer, into fall is the best time to buy for a couple reasons. The first one is just supply and demand. A lot of people going into fall are no longer using their air conditioners, right? Air conditioners are turned off, everyone's enjoying the beautiful fall weather. So the air conditioners are not being used. So there's nobody really, um, there's no emergencies, you know, ACs aren't really breaking down because they're not even being rarely used at all. So AC companies see a drop in, in calls. So they're more inclined to keep people busy and depends on where you live, but there's that little bit of a drop. We, we tend to be you know, really good. We have plenty of projects that we do in the fall anyways, but we still see a slight drop, right? If you buy in the fall, you are no longer paying for overtime wages that are absolute in the summer. Everybody's paying overtime. The companies are paying us technicians overtime. They're paying installers overtime. The manufacturers that make these things are paying overtime. So essentially, you as the consumer are gonna pay for that overtime, right? That's a big deal. Uh, obviously, there's also ACs are breaking down left and right, so everybody's buying them. So you see a price increase. So that's why in the fall that big search has dropped right it's dropped a little bit not much is going on not many acs are being changed out that is the best time for you to buy an air conditioner not in the spring some people think the spring the spring i would say is the second best time to buy uh but it's just not as good as the fall because in the spring it's still a good time to buy it's better than summer okay summer is the worst time to buy you should know that already right you're paying overtime you're paying a premium essentially okay you're paying a premium so spring is probably the second best time to buy because a lot of people go and start up their air conditioners just to go see that that they uh, work right and a lot of them don't start right they don't start up because compressors locked up it, it, there was a leak at the end you know and now it's all flat out of refrigerant a lot of people then decide to replace in the spring a lot of people replace in the spring because they go to start it up and they're like, dang, this thing doesn't work. And they call somebody out, it's like, yeah, it leaked out all the Freon. You know, you better change it out, it's 20 years old. So, the spring is not the best time to buy, okay? It's okay, but it's not the best time to buy. Summer is obviously the worst because you're paying for a premium. 
Uh, in the winter, uh, a lot of times people in the winter who can't handle the cold, right, will, there will be a slight surge in uh, a little bit of overtime, a little bit of emergency services, all that, you will pay a little bit more. So winter's prob probably the third best place or best time to buy. So point of the video is buy in the fall because the surge is over, summer's over, nobody's planning to use the air conditioner till next spring, okay? So there's no air conditioners being sold, very little air conditioners being sold, unless you're like us, that we build new homes, we remodel, blah, blah, blah. That's totally different, okay? That doesn't count. I'm talking about basic replacements, right? You've been in the house for however many years and you wanna replace AC, trust me when I say this, buy in the fall and you will save on average between 1500 bucks I would say all the way up to maybe even 2500 bucks and if you got two ACs that's a lot of money that's like five grand okay that's like five grand you could potentially be saving by buying in the fall okay that's pretty much all I got for you uh, why would I give this advice to people well because I believe in helping other people out. I believe in everybody should be aware because I tell people all the time that ask me that at service, I'm like, yeah, you should get it done in the fall. You know, and a lot of people do get it done. They're like, yeah, you know what? It makes sense what you just said. Let's get it done. If they don't, guess what happens? I can't tell you how many times I've told them, yeah, you should do it, you know, you should do it in the fall. Guess what happens the next spring, right? They're like, dang, you told me, you told me I should have done it, man, in the, in the fall, you were right. This thing didn't start up, you know, blah, blah, blah. Thing all leaked out. I'm like, dang, okay, well, I mean, you know, it's time to replace, Let's go ahead and change it out for you. But now those big juicy discounts are not really there. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, one last thing I gotta throw in there for why you should buy in the fall also is because a lot of people who bulk buy in January, February, February, um, have leftover units, and they're gonna try to clear them out, you know, for the next year. So you can also get there. That is another reason why there's a, a discount in there. Anyways, let me know what you think. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe. Share this with a friend, and we'll see you on the next one.